Hope Fountain says the shadow of recent events has covered up who her son really was. You'll never replace those hugs and that smile of his. He would always be for you, there for you or anyone else no matter what. Gregg County Jail records show that Wagner has a violent past, but Fountain says he has regretted his crimes since the day they were committed. In 2013, Wagner pled guilty to terroristic threats of a public servant. Fountain says Wagner was going through a rough patch in his life at that time. He was fired from his job of five years at Leon Steakhouse and began drinking. At home, his mom says he was still the nicest man he could be. He was probably the only one of my children that could calmed me down when I ever really got upset because he'd just come and give me a big hug and just super special like that. The arrest affidavit says that Wagner threatened to come up here to the police station and shoot police officers. He then called police 12 times in the overnight hours of September 24th and 25th. The calls ranged from silence to more threats. Earlier this month, Wagner was pulled over in this blue SUV by Longview officer Johnny Lyons, a 22-year veteran with the Longview Police Department. Why the officer felt the use of force was necessary is still under investigation by Texas Rangers. But Longview Police Officer Christy Bryan says officers are trained to react quickly. Our officers are trained uh, with many hours of training in various scenarios and once they're on the streets they have to uh, they have to determine in a split second how to deal with the situation when it comes to the use of force it is up to the officer's judgment in the heat of the moment the preliminary autopsy shows that Lyons shot Wagner in the torso and left arm Wagner died at 5 p.m. on August 7th his mom says she had just finished making plans with him at lunchtime he said, Mama, it's loud in here. I love you, and I'll talk to you later on this evening. Okay. And then, then, yeah. Fountain says she doesn't believe her son ever left his car, and she never knew her son to be physically violent, especially not towards an officer. Do you think your son could have done anything like that? No. No. In Longview, Kevin Boyce, CBS 19 News.